Alright, hey there, uh, this is uh, my fourth tutorial, and this one's going to be on QJet slash Tricky slash uh, Orbs uh, automated tur Delta turret. And I'm just going to, first I'm just going to show you how to build it, and then I'm going to upgrade it myself. Do a little things I like to add on to it. Just to sh this is pretty much just going to show you how to use the Delta chip and expression. And maybe I'll do it in expression when I'm done. Yeah, this is going to be using uh, the same kind of thing with bearing. That's pretty much how we're. That's the same uh, idea of how the tire worked. That's pretty much what we're going to be using on this one. So uh, we actually need the axis tool. So go ahead and grab the center uh, of the, one of them and grab it to the center of the other. And what this is doing, so now we have one plate that rotates left and right to give it uh, so it aims in the direction. Then this one, we're going to make it so it goes like this. So while this wall. While this one goes up and down, this one will aim left and right, so it'll be able to center in on the object. To do that, uh, let's go ahead and just take out the axis tool again, just to s and then we're going to center it up. And all we're doing here is centering up. You could use other tools, but I found the axis tool actually works pretty good. Now you want to press R after you do that. Press R and it'll get rid of the axis and go ahead and click and release. Now we have it perfectly flat on uh, the bottom plate. Now you could either... Um, Again, you could use the axis, or you can just ball socket like here to here, and here to here, or you can use the axis tool. And this is a little, no <coughs> this thing is a little bit known. Uh, you click, right click, and see the ghost. Then you go up and right click again. Go ahead and do that on the other side. Right click and see the ghost. Yeah. So then go ahead and right click again. Now that's pretty much saying, okay, this point there. Nah, this point on this face is going to rotate around this point on this face, so it's just going to go like this. So yeah, look at the see, and it lies perfectly flat. It's really good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and freeze this. Shift E to make sure it's all good. Now we're going to need a target finder. Otherwise, I don't think this is going to work. You can target players. You can target props or whatever. But I'm gonna have it uh, go ahead and target a prop, and I'm gonna show you. Like right now, I have it targeting a watermelon. And uh, to do that, if you want to target a certain prop, just go and find your prop, whatever it may be, and uh, just right-click it, and press copy to clipboard, then go in here and click or delete this, and then just go ahead in here and click paste, and there's your uh, prop name, and so now it'll just target the watermelon. Uh, make sure you have uh, this unchecked, otherwise it'll just cancel out the target prop thing. Um, so we're just going to place this anywhere, I guess. Just place it, like, right... Well, let's see, where's the forward? Okay, so... Alright, this is... Uh, let me lock this back up. Alright, so that's our... F that's going to be facing forward, so we're going to go ahead and center that. Uh, Alright, so... If you go ahead and get your target finder back out, so this is going to be facing forward. Now the beacon sends it. Now see how it doesn't quite want to face forward; it's a little bit off. So to, we need it to line up perfectly, so the bearing is exactly the same as this plate. Otherwise, the bearing will be off, and all hell breaks loose because you were stupid enough to change the bearing. Anyway, yeah, uh, I found that. Oh, oops, what I just do? All right. Um. I found no colliding the plate to this works fairly well. You just put this right about here and shift E to lock up lock it to uh, that plane. Go ahead and shift E this and shift E this. Make sure it's all perfectly aligned. That's pretty good. Get out your welder. Go ahead and weld these things down. And there you go. So now now we do the pretty much the same thing we did with the tire. Uh, if bearing is positive, go positive, which is going to be this way. If it's negative, it go negative, which is this way. So, uh, yeah. First, we're going to need to, to translate uh, the bearing into a uh, number we can use for thrust. Uh, just go. First, we're going to need to use our thrusters out. Now, it's, what it's going to turn out to be is a large number, so we just need like 8 or 7. I found 8 works pretty good. Um, so go ahead and pick your model, whatever. I'm just using this flat one. Um, now, you want to have them push in a clockwise position because that's how it's all set up with the bearing and everything. So they're all going to push this way. 
or if you want them negative, that you want them all to pull this way, or pull this way, and push this way. As long as, as long as they're pushing in this direction, as long as something is making it to go in this direction, you're good. And so, I'm going to put one here. See, it's pushing in that direction to make it go like this. You could also put one here and here. See, it's all going like this. So, do that last one. Make it center perfectly. There we go. Now, to uh, create the chips so uh, the thrusters understand which way to go. <coughs> Alright, we need arithmetic. And now we're going to use a delta chip. And what this does is the delta chip takes the difference or the change in uh, A and um, over time so since it's, we're gonna in, we're gonna wire it up to bearing and so the more um, let's spawn a melon see the melon works but the traffic cone won't like it won't target the traffic cone but it'll target the melon see alright anyway so uh, oh, I just took a picture yay I took a picture now if I can use there we go alright so like the faster it moves, like alright, right now, delta is zero because this isn't moving, because the bearing hasn't moved. So the bearing just changed a lot, and be now now the delta zero again. Bearing is a lot. This now the delta is a lot because the bearing is changing. Now delta is zero because the bearing is not changing. So we're gonna use that to make it so it um <laughs> so it um has a more accurate uh thrust to it, so it doesn't wobble and shake and all that. So it's gonna be pretty good. Now what we're going to need next is a um, multiply tool. tool. So we want so what we're going to do with the multiply is we're going to increase the effect of the delta and we're going to also take the bearing into account. Now um, we're going to need a, a constant value of 10 and 2. I'm not exactly sure uh, where these came from. I think Tricky just found them out and, uh, and they worked out pretty good. So what you want to do is you want to take the bearing and multiply the bearing times 2 so uh, the bearing's uh, value increases more. And then the same with the multiply, you want to multiply uh, delta and then delta by 10. That way the delta has more of an effect than the bearing. And um, now we're going to add those two together, otherwise we can't use them very well. It would be really hard to wire two or one thruster up to two different things. Uh, if I can find my, there we go, add. And remember, when you add a number, you add two numbers together. One plus one is two. No, uh, all right, anyway, so there's our add chip. Uh, now we're just going to wire up the thrusters to the add. And remember, as long as they're pushing in a clockwise position, you can use any thrusters. Uh, I'm only going to, like, I could use, like, the front two or the back two, but I'm going to use the ones on the opposite sides because it, evens it out better so it, like this side's pushing and that side's pushing it's th that way like this side's pushing and that side's pushing and then it like throws off a balance a little this balances a bit more I could do all four too but then like I'd have to lower the thrust to like three or five because there's more thrust and now that should work so let's go ahead and spawn a melon release the plates release the plates wonderful let's release the plates That doesn't look promising. Why is the multiply zero? So delta goes to bearing. Oh, duh. Uh, you gotta wire, uh, if you have your beacon sensor tool, right click the beacon sensor, then right click this. Otherwise, just wire uh, the beacon sensor to output one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so yeah, see, look at this. Little shaking, it's just right to the target no matter where. See, and now it lost the target, so it's gonna keep spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Because uh, what it does is it keeps the very last number that was uh, assigned to it. So if like the delt if the add was like fifty, the thrusters would be stuck on fifty until there was another um, thing. So to fix that you can simply just wire both the multiply chips C up to the target finder 1 that way um, if uh, 
the target finder is zero. If there is no target to find, it'll output a zero, making them both of these zero. So watch like a melon. Now it should work if I can unfreeze this. There we go. Now it should work just fine, perfectly. Little, very little wobble. And I destroy it, and there it just stops. So yeah. Okay, that's it for uh, the, the um, horizontal rotation. Now we got to get the vertical up, up and working.